Hi, Hiram here. Lately I've been getting a, a bunch of people suggesting that I paint the bottom of my pots black, that it'll cut down on the boiling time, cut down on fuel, the whole bit. I think where this comes from, I addressed this back in September of last year, and I think where it all came comes from is a Backpacker Magazine article from August 2011. In it, there was an article called Ultralight Makeover, where they suggested to start by, for Ultralight Makeover, to paint the bottom of all silver pots with flat black Rust-Oleum stove paint, like this. Uh, when I first read the article, I thought, hmm, very interesting. Although it goes against what my scoutmaster taught us, he uh, really drummed it into our head that all pots should be silver clean. No matter if it's been on a wood fire, what, it had to be spotless, shiny, clean. So at the time I thought, I don't know if this article's true, maybe it might be nice. Yet it said that it, the, it, by painting it black, it should boost the efficiency by 30 to 40 percent. I may be wrong, but I think what they're saying there is, if it takes 60 seconds to heat this up, when you paint it, it should only take 42, or if it takes 8 minutes to heat something like this up with the, bl with the paint on it, now it should take 5.6 minutes. If that really works, I guess I'll stop doing what my Scoutmaster said. Now, I did this, again, like I said, back in last year, September, with the Boy Scout pot. I had a number of people say that I didn't paint it up far enough because on the Boy Scout pot I only came up about this far. So I thought I'd paint it a little bit further up. What I'm using here today is an iMusa 12 centimeter mug. I got a bunch of these because I wanted to play around with them. I thought this size might be good because you can store the mini Trangia in there. So I bought a bunch of these and I painted one of them. Some of the information about this pot is the capacity of this one, there's a smaller one, a 10 centimeter, but the capacity of this one is about 5.5 cups. It's about uh, 4 and 3 sixteenths tall. It's about 4 and 11 sixteenths across, has a flat bottom. The pot that I painted before I painted it, it weighed 92.9 grams or 3.28 ounces. After I put this paint on, which is actually two coats of spray paint, but it's not so thick that you can't see the emblem still on, that was stamped on the bottom. After I painted it, it weighs 94.9 grams or it, ad it added two grams of weight onto this. I wouldn't think that would be something that Graham weenies would appreciate, but I guess if it cuts down the boil time by 30 to 40 percent, what can you say? So, got to do this quickly. It is blooming hot in here. Room temperature is 85 degrees with a 76 percent humidity. This is actually my third try at this. It keeps shutting off my camera because it's overheating. Yeah, that's at 60 degrees. I'm going to use my Mojo Ultralight with the Trangia on it. Let me light this. Good boy, it's so damp in here, nothing is working. Let's let that go until it gets a bloom on it. Okay, there's the bloom. Okay, I have the unpainted pot first to give me an idea of the time. Two cups of water setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 13 seconds. 
Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, in 6 minutes and 13 seconds. What I'll do now is let all this stuff come down to room temperature, like that makes a big difference today. But I'll let it all get to room temperature, and then I'll redo the test using the painted Imusa mug. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to do the second half of this test. I have two cups of water in my Imusa pot, sitting at 60 degrees. The Trangia is to a bloom, and let's see where this goes. What maybe? Uh, the last one was six minutes and 13 seconds. So if this works to say 30% efficiency, that means this should come to a boil in four minutes and 21 seconds. So let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 30 seconds, 12, 12 in 5 minutes 30 seconds, okay, alright, let me do some math and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, the results of this test, <clears throat> the shiny pot, the shiny Amusa pot, 6 minutes and 13 seconds to get 2 cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a full boil. With the painted bottom, surprisingly in this test, although I don't know if the hot water, weather has something to do with it, anyway, uh, 2 cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes and 30 seconds. That's 40 seconds faster. 40 seconds. That's less than 10.7%, I think, efficiency. Um, okay, maybe it made it boil a little bit quicker, but in my mind, I'd rather have a shiny pot that I can keep clean than a painted pot that, you, I don't know if you can see it, already just from this one test, it's already starting to chip off. This just, you know, this just wouldn't be easy to keep clean. If you go to scrub it with Brillo or whatever to clean it off so that you're not getting your gear all dirty, it's going to pull more of the paint off. So maybe in this case it saved 40 seconds out of uh, 6 minutes and 13 seconds, but I don't think that's worthwhile painting my pots. Just my opinion. You can do what you want to, but... I'm not going to paint my pots other than the ones that I already have painted. So I thank those that have been sending me that suggestion, but please don't shoot me for not going along with that one. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.